Welcome back and thank you for joining us this Father's Day weekend. If you haven't had a chance to watch our preschool playtime video, you should check it out. We made really fun Father's Day crafts. And if you did them along with us, or if you made any other craft, I would love to see them. You can share them with us on Facebook or Instagram. It would be so much fun to check them out. Before we get started with our Bible story, I want you guys to stand up and get ready to sing our first worship song together. Great singing, friends. I love our new song this month. We've been talking about God's son, Jesus, and we talked about Jesus being born. Can you show me like you're pretending to rock a baby in a cradle? Rock the baby, rock the baby. Great job. We also talked about how Jesus grew up to help sick people, love everyone, and do amazing things that only he can do. Can you make a heart like this with your fingers with me? Great job. We also talked about how Jesus died, but on the third day, the stone was rolled away and Jesus came back. Jesus is alive. Can you pretend to roll away the stone with me? Oh, it's heavy. It's a big, heavy stone. Great job, guys. After Jesus came back, he went to see friends so they could see that he is alive. They told people that Jesus is alive and they wrote those things down in the Bible that Jesus is alive so everyone everywhere could believe that Jesus is alive. But not everyone believed that Jesus is alive. One of those people who didn't believe was a man named Paul and he was not happy about something that we're going to learn about in our story today at the clubhouse. So can you show me your angry face? Yes, Paul was so angry, but guess what? Something happened that we're going to hear about in our story that made Paul happy. Can I see your happy face? Great job, friends. Get your binoculars ready. You're going to need them at the clubhouse. And let's go to the clubhouse to hear our story today. Who? Who? You know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun.
friends, welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Poppy, and my neighbor Miss Kathy Sue just gave me a super cool new game to play. These are emoji cards. You have to spy the matches. I spy with my little eye. A happy face. Can you guys make a happy face with me? Wow, I love those smiles. Now, I need to find another happy face. Let's see. I spy with my little eye. Yes, another happy face. Yay, we found a match. Let's try to find another match. Which one should I pick now? This one? Or this one? Hmm. I spy with my little eye. An angry face. Can you guys make an angry face with me? Oh yes, you look very angry. Let's try to find another angry face. I spy with my little eye. A heart-eyed face. This was my favorite because it means love. But it doesn't match with the angry-eyed face. Let's try again. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? What are you up to? Hey, Ollie. We're playing our new emoji card game. It has all the feelings. My favorite one is love. A game of feelings is fun for you. I know someone who went from angry to happy. It's true. So let's hear this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. I spy with my little eye. <laughs> our friends! Stormy Jane, it's our friends! They're here for a story. Hi, friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Are you ready to play a little Bible story I spy? <laughs> well, great. All month long, we have been talking about our good friend Jesus. Do you see our good friend Jesus? Get out your pretend binoculars and look with me. Ready? I spy with my little eye our good friend Jesus. Jesus is God's son, and he came to teach us how to love others and to be our friend forever. Jesus is alive and we can believe in him. But not everyone believes Jesus is alive. One of those people was a man named Paul. Hey, let's find Paul. You ready? I spy with my little eye, Paul. Paul grew up believing that you had to follow a lot of rules if you loved God. I mean, a lot of rules. Paul heard people saying that Jesus was teaching a brand new rule. Not a lot of rules, just one rule. And Jesus' one rule was, love each other the way I love you. Because Jesus is God's son, they followed him and did what he said. Well, this made Paul very angry. Paul wanted people to follow all of the other rules. He did not want people following Jesus. Do you know what Paul did? He started being mean to people who followed Jesus. Let's see if we can find Paul with his mean face. Look with me. I spy with my little eye Paul with a mean face. Then one day when Paul was on his way to be mean to more people for following Jesus, he saw a bright light and heard someone talking to him. Who do you think was talking to Paul? It was Jesus. And Jesus asked Paul why he was doing mean things. Then he told him to go to a house and wait. After Paul saw the bright light, he couldn't see anything, but he did what Jesus told him to do. Someone had to help him find the house. Do you see a house? Look with me. I spy with my little eye, a house. Some of Jesus' friends came to the house to help Paul. They helped Paul because Jesus had taught them the new rule. Love each other the way Jesus loves you. After a few days, Paul could see again. Do you think Paul believed in Jesus now? <laughs> he sure did. Angry Paul, who was mean to people, 
became happy Paul who loved people and believed in Jesus. Everyone can believe in Jesus. And when we believe in Jesus, we love people the way Jesus loves us. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can believe in Jesus? I can believe in Jesus. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. When Paul believed in Jesus, it made his heart brand new. Thanks, Sally. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Paul believed in Jesus, so Paul started loving people the way Jesus loves people. Paul went from angry Paul to happy Paul. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! When I believe in Jesus, I can be happy too. And I can love people the way Jesus loves me. I'm gonna show my friends how much I love them by sharing my game with them. See you next time. Bye! I love that story because it teaches us everyone can believe in Jesus. And when we believe in Jesus, we love people like Jesus loves us. So tell me, who can believe in Jesus? That's right, I can believe in Jesus. Poor Paul was so angry and he was mean to people. Let me see your angry face. But then, happy Paul, who loved people and believed in Jesus, was so much nicer. Let me see your happy face. Great job, guys. Wow, Jesus is amazing. He's incredible and he can do anything. Hmm, that reminds me of one of my favorite songs. Get your guys' O's out so we can sing to our next song.
Great job, friends. I love singing that song with you. It's one of my favorites. Before we get going, we're going to practice our memory verse and pray. But first, if you want to play a fun matching game like Poppy did, have your mommies and daddies check their email because I sent them one and they can print it out and you guys can do that together as a family. All right, friends, let's go ahead and practice our memory verse. I know it's a so long, but we can get it. I believe in you. So we're going to do it two times. You guys ready? We're going to repeat after me. It goes like this. Ready? These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Great. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Here we go. These are written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. John 20, 31. Great. You guys keep practicing that. It's a long one, but we will get it. You guys are awesome. All right, friends, before we get going, we're going to pray. So wiggle our hands this way, wiggle them this way, wiggle them all around in a circle, bow our heads, close our eyes, and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to be everyone's forever friend. Thank you that everyone can believe in Jesus. We know Jesus has the power to help everyone be kind, tell the truth, and believe in Him. We love you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Great job, friends. Thank you for joining me this weekend. I will see you next weekend. Bye.